They're gonna go in for Ramas? Okay. Wait. What? <laughs> okay. Oh, only... You know what? You know what? Sure. <laughs> go ahead and play Ramas. I don't mind. <laughs> that's, but... the, that's, the, <laughs> that's the only positive. Hey, that's the only thing that you're allowed to say whenever Ramas gets picked. Right. Okay, okay, fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, OMG! But, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, so this Jax is going to be more on the defensive side and the top side. Being allowed to uh, survive the all in coming in for the community and the Vi is pretty much easier to do on the Jax than other champions. Yeah. Now, OMG going for the Lucian, they're really pivoting hard on, you know, getting there advantages all across the board. And yeah, as predicted by you, it's. And it also makes a lot of sense for them to go for the Galleon mm -hmm. because they do have the Hexic Ultimate plus five combo. Yeah, there's a lot of opening. There's a lot of entrances for Galio, right? He could go Vi, it could go Camille, it could go even go Akali. With how we've seen Akali being played a while ago in Game Number One, if that's the same performance that SMK could replicate coming into Game Two up against Thunder Talk, that's definitely an opening for Hua Hua to be able to push through for an opening. But Thunder Talk final pick, it's Lisa. Now that's. Well, I, I won't say it's anticlimactic, right? but it's uh, it's, it's the next by pick though. It's mm. it's them still going for what works for them, and they're not right. really going for those picks that like like the Lulu in the vein, right? Like which which still has more questions than answers. This is just Thunder Talk taking everyone seriously, and again has one mission in mind, and that is to. Woo. Have a firm grasp of their number one position all across the standings here, not just in the CN conference, but for the entirety of the league. Uh, for OMG, though, this picks to this set of picks, I think, and I believe that they have the, you know, they they have a, a chance of winning this and extending this if they came out with three. Right. Uh, so yeah. so when it comes to you know being predictable, I don't think I don't think OMG is that that team that falls under the category of predictable because we know how long their last series was yeah. against KVG so yeah games Brace could yourself. go <laughs> <laughs> well, games could go like 15 minutes or a hell of a lot more than that <laughs> <laughs> so yeah this is a quick boss I don't know what uh, happened but you know what that works loading problem I guess I could be but yeah. as we jump into game number one here Omega up by OMG rather versus <laughs> Thunder Talk. But wait, 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 hold on, hold that on, was, hold on. That hold was on. a very long throwback, dude. <laughs> hold on, yeah, yeah, I was reminiscing the, uh, the, the, the good old, old days. days, the good old days. <laughs> yeah. now, I'm, I'm not holding back. We need to explain to our viewers what you did, what, what you just did. <laughs> yeah, okay. For for the viewers watching at home, Omega is yeah. one of the teams before in the Philippine region. Way back in year one, that is on par up against NXP! Oh, the Ignite took the first blood! Ezreal goes down, SMY might follow through, but OMG! Literally! <laughs> oh my very, god. Very good start, very good start. And he's even going to steal away one of uh, the more important aspects of the early game, which is the honey boots. So, this is uh, the handicap that Thundertalk is facing right now, right? Like their bottom uh -huh. lane just got melted in that 2v2 flash let's look at this once again and see if soil did use his flash here he's definitely spotted on a ward oh my god that's the full channel of the wind so far plus the double tap coming in from uh 15 and that's why that's uh that, you still have to respect the damage coming in from the galio for sure yeah yeah especially coming into the early phases if you just take in all the damage coming from the winds of gale that's just yeah. so much and i think that was just happened yeah. that was what happened on the soil and this will be a huge problem right because yeah. lucian as we all know is an early game champion and really really strong when it comes to these early <laughs> game phases and soil dying that early on is not a good thing for thunder it's, it's definitely not going to help their class x by is here trying to remedy whatever was lost here in the bot lane Oh, that's already a level 5 decent as well. Yeah. So one good kick could yeah, really just dictate the life of 15 in the flash! 
with the dragon's rage and that will be thunder talk retaining back the, the lead that they've gotten in the early game or well rather the disadvantage they were able to take against omg but yeah. that's really good for max by exactly right like uh, again it, he he was there to remedy whatever happened here in the bot lane and that he did that he did so now everything is back to normal here in the bottom lane good flash kick by the way uh but but by x by that was almost yeah. instantaneously that 15 regardless of whatever utilities he had you know oftentimes no escape. he'll still be able to dash away as illusion he was given zero to no chance to react at all yeah. and, and the big problem about this that we're looking at if Inyan goes yeah. for the ditch we always have to remember the Vladimir still has a Sanguine Pool. So if yeah. ever it comes down to that dangerous position, he could go in and out of fight. Mm -hmm. That's uh, one of the ways to look at it, for sure. Ins and outs of the fights, similar to, you know, what we saw from the Rakan earlier, which was, by the way, very impressive, right? From, from SMY. Mm, yeah. I told you, man, like, one of my favorite champions of the guy is the Rakan. You know, it's just a shame that it's not part of the meta right now. To a top point that, you know, it's it's rarely seen, but whenever we see it, it's always a delight. Oh, x by x by The ward is there. The question is, is he sought out for? Now, Inyan has seen him. Goes for the Vault Breaker. Steals okay, it away from x by Yeah. Well, okay, so was... was Alright, so Inyan was still able to get the Grump, yeah? Mm, I believe so. Yeah, I did not see the 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 green green thing, you know the effect uh, on who joins the who. <laughs> and uh, anyway, yeah, yeah, action continues here in the bot lane, and Soil was able to use a two shot barrage just to clear the wave. Ooh, flash oh, in. flash! But a shield of the rat taunts out to SMY, and fifteen has massive damage. But X was to cast disengages. Swahua is isolated. Has to retreat wow. for now. And that's just a good uh, no. good disengage. No, here comes the equalizer. Oh, oh good oh, flash oh, with a falling slam! SMY bot time and X by followed suit. Wow, that was so clean. Dude, they're so good at this game. I I what? Okay, so let's look at that once again, right? Like X by shows up and uses the sonic wave to close the distance oh into the range minions. SMY following through with a flash into the bat slump. On to two, and then x was there to clean things out. Yeah, the Dragon's Rage as well connected. Yeah. So it was the CC chain galore for the side yeah. of Tinder talk into the bottom lane. That was just so good of the micro plays that they do. Now, oh. Indian, Vault Breaker with a flash! <laughs> wow, wow, follows up. That will be a kill of their own. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's a lot of investments, though. But yeah. that's a very timely uh, assassination onto the mid lane. Now they are in the position to secure this objective. Although, x by is here. White Cat readily waiting as well, coming over the hills. Gets vision though, so Thunder Talk has information. Wawa jumps Wawa. through with a shield of Durant. Hexic only made him onto soil. They want this target. Hero Zagger comes in. The will be the knock up onto SMY, the but mark. Soil's gonna live. Oh, crap that. Now the culling as well connects onto nothing. And OMG wants to retreat, wants to return back to their own mm. jungle. OMG already has the secured objective here. And next by, by the way, is just delaying Inion, but you won't be able to delay this repairal empowered recall as well, right? Because uh, mm, yeah. it takes a shorter time for sure. Now, Thunder Talk is now being pressed onto a corner here. What do they do? Are they going to challenge for this objective once again? Because OMG, they, they want one thing, and that's the 2 for 2 special. Yeah, 2 for 2 special. We'll see if they could achieve that. Because right now, Thunder Talk is playing defense here. It has vision towards them. SMY goes for the body slam with the Huang Huang, but there's just no damage and a lot of risk involved if Thunder Talk commits. They are waiting, right? Like patiently. OMG really wants the 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 dragon. This is for sure going to help OMG alleviate some pressure of the gold advantage that Thunder Talk was able to get. But OMG wisely backs away. They don't think they can, uh, you know, do this fight as of yet. x by once again! Goes in with a Sonic Wave, good kick as well! Huahua is isolated, it has to commit out the Flash to return back and x by will not secure that kill, but Huahua is forced to reset. Yeah, that's the third time that x by did make a play here for the bottom lane. Talk about being assisted. Inion, by the way, just waiting in the bushes. Ready up, the Vault Breaker as well will not commit to it. And now, the Ice Drake will go into the side of Thunder Talk. And right now, x goes back onto their Quadrant Jungle. 
But SMK, SMK follows up, X Y Ooh. is gone with a knife following up. Good flash for flash burn. And now Sin is stuck with X took Automatum followed by Wah Wah with a shot of the run. It's a tree man taunt from OMG. And now Z hoping to follow up onto 15 with a flash. And now that is committed. Sanguine Paul already okay. got it. He's isolated. And OMG, they're bouncing back and forth up against Thunder Talk. And this is what we were saying, right? Like, OMG is so hard to protect that they will be winning all the skirmishes out of the blue. You look at Wawa trying to get another one, but Soil... Oh man, not enough damage. They are so low in health. Two shot barrage and Inya will just dodge away from it just because they have perfect information that he was channeling and he was on top of that scuttle vision. And OMG runs away with a team fight win finally and is yeah. basically now in the lead. That's a very big swing in the favor of OMG. We'll look at that uh, play once again. SMK getting the kill onto X Pine and following through will be Wildcat. I thought for a second that this is an overcommitment coming in from Wildcat, but 15 is already channeling his calling and uh, his damage was actually very much felt all throughout this fight. And, uh, and you know, how many times did we see it? Soil lacking a bit of uh, damage just to finalize all those exit kills that could have pivoted this uh, clash back to Thunder Talk. And again, that's the breaks of the game that you would understand because this as this is still the Ezreal, right? Like one of the yeah. scaling uh, or heavy scaling champion that we have in the game. Yeah, and th thus far, Hua Hua has been doing honest and hard work all throughout from the early game coming into the mid game. He was always that pivotal into getting that early lead for his respective ADC for 15 and coming into that fight as well, that three man taunt, the, the justice punch. It's just too much. Why would just always pick Gallo? You know what? You're too <laughs> good at it. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, definitely showing better Gallo performance compared to what we saw from game one where he was relegated to play the Lulu, the support of Lulu. Z. Here comes Z. White Cat already connected with a Sonic Wave with the Dragon's Rage, there's just no escape and the CC chain is flawless. Now Hua Hua comes into the backside, it's two man taunt, has to use up the force, the flash, but an explosive cast isolated him. Come back and Thunder Talk secures the kill. Another tower might just go down here to the side of Thunder Talk and OMG all of a sudden. Whatever lead they were able to get in that very good skirmish on the bottom lane was reversed immediately by this timely uh, attack by, by Thunder Talk. And you saw that they had the right idea in mind. OMG, Wawa still used as a flash, but there to negate the flash's effect is SMY with a perfectly placed explosive cast. It was phenomenal. And now we'll see how this would turn out as. Hunter Talk is playing towards the bot They're side kidding. and that will be X-Pi who kicks White Cap back into their own Ooh. turret. Two shot barrage almost connected within inches of death there for White Cap but will be able to return back on skid. And the good thing for OMG was that it did not result into a kill. Another flashy engage coming in from the Lee Sin, by the way. He's not really pulling back his kicks, right? Like, every time that you see him. He's even using his flash offensively, which is not often seen, you know, in a competitive scenario. But again, Thunder Talk, again, just pressing, uh, the, the you know, pressing forward with, with whatever they, they, you know, they think is an advantage. And you look at the, the way the timers are going right now. I think that the second dragon is about to spawn up in just a few seconds, but yeah. with everything calculated, uh, I don't think we'll have a third dragon in this game because of how delayed the first dragon was collected. So, you know, if this second dragon will be even further delayed, chances are it will not be enough time for the third dragon to spawn up, which means that we won't have any soul in game two. Yeah, well, well, quite honestly, it will be good for OMG. You know what? No soul yeah. for Thunder Talk. That's actually a good thing. So. They just have to delay it if they want to play on to deny the soul away from Thunder Talk. They don't have to commit it. Yeah, they need the Kali though. SMK needs to be here because if Thunder Talk forces a team fight without that Kali, there's no chance of ONG winning. And so now he's batting towards a dragon. Thunder they want Talk. To, they want this fast. 
T starting down the ocean, Drake already sees an assist. That will be Thunder Dog to secure the objective. Now send it down low, but a counter strike stuns off the Inyan, and that will be the death of him. It's a 5v4 already with Jax deleted. It's a numbers game for OMG. s one x by already down oh. low, but he comes into the backside with Vladimir. Tides of blood, Stacy's not gonna save you in 15. Now down very low, oh, uses up the exhaust as well. On top of that, Thunder Talk secures the ace. That's a team fight win, that's a triple kill for a soil, and you buy him enough seconds to scale up his items, and he will do just that. Now Thunder Talk pressing forward towards the Baron that is so squishy into this game and i don't think we will ever have a 30 minute game here in infinity because thunder talk is running away with things wait 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 you jinxed it you jinxed it already right? what so you might go to 13 <laughs> no i'm kidding <laughs> yeah but, yeah as you whatever mentioned. jokes you have you know this is not a joke this is not a drill thunder talk with their team fighting oh, yeah. prowess they can still win off of beautiful micro did you see that stasis play just to bait in huawa and z following through with the types of blood into a flash soil and z when tag teaming this way this is the reason why thunder talk is this strong you know in the current season it's because of their carries overall yeah, and as you have mentioned, Baron on B utilized, takes down tier 2, coming into the mid lane, and 15, playing defense here, but Inhib turret will fall down, Thunder Talk is looking to end this. It's uh, now the inhibitor tower in the mid lane, already opened for the take in for Thunder Talk, now the bot lane is going to be the next target here for Thunder Talk. Playing turret defense, playing Nexus defense, but that's why with a body stamp explosive cast that won't be the isolation. Jungler is deleted. OMG is now playing with four members left. White Cat has to go back and retreat. SMY goes back in into the front lines and Tides of Blood once again. Deletes 15! And now Hexic Ultimate unlocks it onto Z and Thunder Talk once again is peaking Thunders in this series. And that will win them the series up against OMG. No one is going to steal their thunder this time and thunder talk presses on improves their record 10 to 1 meanwhile omg is on towards their eight straight lose streak what a game oh i, I thought you're gonna look at the perspective of thunder talk getting the top one but yes 